Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. My name is Rabenschild. Today we will make a bit of a test. Mitch asked me in my comment section um, how the nanobots, the new, uh, yeah, basically built mod, built helper mod, and the nanites compare to each other when it comes to uh, energy usage. And I thought, hey, maybe we should test more than just the energy use usage. Maybe we should go and test how fast they build, yeah, how much energy they use, um, how fast they start to basically build up things that we have set up. And th this, this is just about construction. We know that the nanites are... Uh, way ahead when it comes to other things. The, the nanites are a lot more versatile. So they heal you, they pick up stuff, they deconstruct stuff, and, 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 and. So we just want to see how they compare when it comes to construction. So you saw me, I think, uh, picking out stuff out of the nano factory, and now we will turn this off. Can I see that? Uh, shouldn't I be able to see <laughs> if they are turned on or off? Let me take a look. Um, set up the actions. Okay, both are on. And now... Both are off. Okay. I, sh I should be able to see that, or am I now? <laughs> I'm going crazy now. Good. What I've also set up is this LCD that shows us the top 10 um, energy. Uh, yeah, basically the top 10 um, energy using blocks on the grid. One thing I thought we should compare, but it's not really necessary to compare, we can take a look at that, is how much they cost material-wise. So um, let me go into the G menu just, just to take a look at it. So the build and repair system for a large station costs us 40 motors, 20 computers, 10 large steel tubes, small steel tubes, 60 interior plate, 25 construction components, 140 steel plates, 52. Okay, that's that's not too crazy. I think the nanites are far more expensive. Yeah, yeah, they definitely are. But again they are a lot more versatile. So if you're just searching for a really cheap block to construct stuff, yeah, go with the, <laughs> go with the nanobots if you don't have all the materials. It could be a good thing for the start of your, of your sessions or something like that. Because again, the, the stuff that, it, that they needed wasn't so crazy i think that you yeah that you couldn't get that from grinding down some few blocks of your crash ship or something like that good okay we will also set up some blocks that the both factories should basically build one after the other or something like that and we will use a stopwatch i I will I've installed one on my phone just to see yeah how how they how fast they are. Mm. I will place the blocks now and not weld them so that there's just the first basically the first um yeah thing of material in there. That, that's always the case. So we don't go and I should think we should set up a beacon, maybe an ore detector. It would be good to have maybe a Gatling turret, just some 
random random things we can set up. Um, a cockpit is always nice to see, and maybe don't know. Maybe we, uh, maybe we go for a, for a heavy armor block, and then uh, maybe a reactor, small reactor. That is also a thing we we could build. So set these blocks up. And then we, okay, <laughs> the turret can stay there in the end, I would say. Uh, then we have to basically remember that so that we can set that up the next time too. Okay, then maybe there and a reactor there. I've put both of them up on the tower there so they the 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 distance shouldn't play a role here um it maybe does because again the nanites have something to speed up the whole process of the nanites flying towards their target so that uh it could do something but on the other hand i I want to make it as fair as possible, I would say. Good. We will use the assemblers to build all of these things that I have in my hotbar. And I should write them down. Let me do that for a sec. So I've written them down. Now we can just produce them. I want to have the... I want to have the, the, the materials are in in the system. So I don't want them to or I don't want them to have to build all this stuff on their on their own. The nanites can do that, but again it, it takes a bit to do that, so I will just give them the right amount of materials that should be in the system then. Did I ever tell you that I really don't like it that I can't search in the in the assembler? I, I don't know if I ever if we ever spoke about this. I don't like that. So Okay, now we should have when this is done all the materials in the system. So I will wait until this is done here. Maybe there's missing materials or so. We we will we will just keep on I don't know if I have enough materials for all the reactor components and then I will have to get that from the ship in orbit good that's all done I will turn off the assemblers now so that there's no way to produce anything anymore everything has to come from the system now. by the way the other effectiveness modules and all that stuff that is not the effectiveness effectiveness uh, effectiveness modules thanks that's what i'm searching for and i didn't mean the modules i meant the upgrades uh, i have a second um cleanup nanite factory here so it shouldn't get involved with the building it's it's in there you you know that some of you know that good this button panel will be activated and um, then we will see how it comes along i think we first go with the normal nanites let me take a look at my stopwatch i hope you don't hear anything from my my smartphone that would be bad okay i say we start it now Okay, this thing is going, I hope. Let me see if something is happening up there. The There's nothing going there. The nanite control. Whoa. No, no, that can't be right. Oh, it, it is right. So the nanite control factory, I will write that down, takes... 78 megawatts when it starts up then it seems to go down 52 26 
and everything's built already. Whoa. Okay. The the turret started started to work when I pressed stop. So I will take this as I will take this as it being done. So that was 44 seconds. Top top dollar when it comes to the nanites was um 78.52 and I saw 26 in there so that's crazy yeah this is a crazy amount of of uh, of energy it used up there man 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 okay this is written down and I have to take uh, I have to take a better look at the at all the stuff here. Maybe, maybe we should grind that down again, and I will set it up again, and then we build that again, basically. So I can take a look at the time again. Let me do that right quick. Okay, we can start that up again. I will now keep a better eye on how fast these things are. Okay, start. And come on. 44 seconds was good. So I'm not terribly sad about this. I hope I have still enough of the materials because the Explorer 2 took a lot, a lot, a lot of the materials there why are there three streams build up streams okay the construction streams are more than more than all the other streams that's a good thing to know okay and the it's it is 38 seconds so we will take this as the as the definitive answer now just to be fair good same thing again but now with the now with the nanobots and i will take a look at how much energy they use and then again take a look at at, at the time they use to do stuff good L give me a sec just to just to tell you, see the nanite cleanup, what it just, uh, <laughs> the energy it just used up, 154, I think, megawatts there. That's upgraded and all that stuff. So uh, this is, again, this is the pure, pure test of the nanites. So not upgraded and all that stuff. Uh, they can be really, really power hungry. Good. Maybe we can do this test completely. I don't know. I, we will we will take a look and see. Um, take a look at the power, and I s will just start it together with the clock. If if it doesn't work out, I will just do it like I did with the nanites and test with the clock again. Okay, I will start now. Question always is how much energy do they use up? Okay, can we see the the buildy thing already? Is it not doing anything? Hmm. That would be bad. <laughs> Let me let me start that again. I've made an extra connection now to the nanobot build thingy, babingy. It could be that the nanite, nanite factory is not willing to give up its items. So now we will just use the extra connection and hopefully it works now. Let us see.
Come on, start up. It is not willing to do... Oh, no, 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 no. Can we see it on the... Can we see it? Is it using this low, low amount of energy? There's no information on the energy, so... Yeah, that is not good. Can we see it in the in the power times? No, we can't. Reactors, we we can see the reactor and see how how hard it gets hit. <laughs> Okay, this I, I I think I don't even need to take the time. This takes very very long. Oh man. See now it's going again. Yeah, this this takes definitely longer and the reactors what is what is the output? Um 13 output is 13.426 <clears throat> okay it's it's a lot better when it comes to the power it seems um, I don't know if the numbers are correct it, it could be that the numbers are completely incorrect here I don't really know total output is 26 Point eight. That was the maximum here. Twenty nine. Around that. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe now the cockpit and the turret and all they they take energy too. So we will wait until it dies down, and then see uh, how the output is without anything then. That might be helpful. Oh, okay, no, I will. I will not take the time of it. I, I will not do that. <laughs> Let me wait until it's done. So it it is done now, and my power output didn't change a lot. So now the total output is forty because I think it's filling up the batteries then, and it, there, there's. There is not a lot of change here. Thirteen point four. If we if we say that it takes ten megawatts or none at all, it could be that it doesn't take any at all at the moment because twenty six we had that too. This is. It, it could be that the 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 nanobots don't take energy. Maybe. I can't see it, <laughs> but. Time-wise, they take a lot longer. So that's the outcome of this. The nanites are, in I think, all the ways superior. They might take more energy, but when it comes to, <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> when it comes to automatic building systems, the nanites still. Uh, are on top of it mm, one thing could be or one explanation for that could be because the the nanobots you might be able to set up more than just one you can do that with a nanite factory too but maybe if you set up two or three it goes faster they they should help each other and with the materials the nanite factory needs you could build more than just one of the one of the nanobots so keep that in mind for a, st a starting player the nanobots might be a good thing until you can get the nanite factory um, what the nanobots did is they went basically from 
block to block to block and finish that. And then the Knights can just, hey, okay, I have two building streams, let them fly out and then do what they have to do. <laughs> uh, but this was chaotic. But we came to a bit of a conclusion. So that's that's a really, really neat thing. Good. People, I think that's all for today. Um, we did some experimentation today. That's always nice to know. So uh, conclusion, we don't really know anything about the energy. We know that the nanobots don't cost as much. The nanites are faster. Yeah, a lot faster. <laughs> but they take more energy. That's what we know now. <laughs> Good people. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you liked the episode. If you did, then please leave a like on it. And I hope to see you in the next one. See ya, guys.